Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. So today we have the Potenzik F186 WH FPV Air Pressure Altitude Hold Drone. Bit of a mouthful. So I picked this up from Amazon the other day. They had it on one of them Prime Special Deals. Now the the price of this originally apparently was £69. And at £69 I can't say I'm over impressed with it. At the cost, should I say. At the cost. Let's not get the wrong thing. So this is the drill. So when you get it, it doesn't come with a landing gear on or the prop guards. They come in the box. As you can see, it's got an antenna on the back for the camera. And it is beautifully finished off. It really is nice. There's actually a bit of weight about this thing. It really is so nicely finished off. So you can see the size, it's not very big. You can fly this indoors and outdoors. I'll have the video at the end of here of me flying it and I'll be in I'll fly outdoors and indoors. So you can you'll get something a better idea of the scale. Comes with a twin charger because you do get two batteries with it. I got this for £34.99, I think it was. And for that money I think it's great. I think it's £69, it's overpriced. But I have seen this about before at that kind of money, so if you can get it cheap. I do recommend this drone. So this is your charger. This plugs into your charger. It's a USB. You get a screwdriver and you get four spare props. Let's just pop that down there. You get an instruction manual, which is wrote in perfect English. Fantastic manual. It's one of the best I've seen. It's very detailed. It shows you everything you need to know. It's one of these fold out ones. But as you can see, it's in perfect English and it, it does actually do what it says on the tin. So, let's move that out of the way a minute. It comes with a controller, which is more like your standard kind of, unlike the new ones that tend to be the trend at the minute, this is more like a, a controller from hobby grade style look. It's not hobby grade controller obviously, but it's got more of that style to it. So, the buttons on the front, I'm just gonna have to get the manual because the buttons are all over the place. So, the button that says function hover is your take off and land button. Video button doesn't work on this because it hasn't got an SD card. Photograph button doesn't work because it hasn't got an SD card. Headless mode is that button. This is your 3D flip button here. Sorry, that's your 3D flip button there. I do apologise. And that one turns your lights on and off. So, lights on and off. 3D flips. So when you turn this transmitter on, if I was to hold down the button here and turn it on, it changes its mode. So if I turn it off and turn it back on, it says mode 1, it's actually in mode 2. So I throttle on this side. If I turn it off and press it down again, for me this is brilliant because I fly mode 1, but you can see it says mode 2. It's actually mode 1. Now I don't understand why they're that way around, but they are, strangely enough, to me the wrong way around, but might be some reason for it. So this is the drone itself, it has an on and off switch on the side. Just turn it on, I think it's already bound it, has it? No, let's bind it up. Let's put it back on. Every time you turn it off, if you want to put it in mode 2, you have to hold the mode 1, so you have to put the button down. So there you go, it's now bound in mode 1. Listen to how quiet it is. It's a really quiet little drone. On a tick over, you can barely hear it. So, 3D flips are really good. You don't need that much space. It doesn't. It seems to correct itself very quickly. The headless mode works perfectly. I don't use it. Now, to adjust your rates, so to increase your speed, but you're adjusting rates actually on this one, you hold that button down and you can turn this up and down. I recommend doing this before you set off. So I'm, you're going to see a video of me flying it outside. Um, part of the video is at 50% and the other part of the video is at 100. There is a noticeable difference. Really nice to fly. This thing flies superb. I'd go as far as to say this is the best toy grade micro I've ever flown. It's so stable in the air. It's almost like you'd swear it had 
optical flow. There is no optical flow on there, it's just a standard altitude hold quad. Nothing special about it at all, but what you're paying for, in my opinion on this, is the quality of the craft. It, the finish is fantastic. You have to see it to understand what I'm talking about. It is not flimsy plastic. It's solid. It's beautifully made. The, but for me, it's the best thing is the way it flies. It flies fantastic. So, as I say, at the end of the video, you're going to see it fly. And I fly it outside and I fly it indoors. I've also included in... I'll include in screen the app that I shot for the footage from the app. I am not shoot it, showing the footage from the camera because, let's just get this out of the way, the camera on this is rubbish because the camera on most of these is rubbish. If you want to get a camera drone for about 50, 60 quid with a decent camera, I'm sorry but it just doesn't exist. They just don't exist. The cameras are not great on any of these things so I'm not even including the camera footage. This is a micro brushed quad for flying around outside and inside. It can fly in five or six mile an hour winds fine but that's what it is. It's not to me a camera drone and it's never going to be. So rather than people say in the comments well the footage looks garbage from the camera it does because it just isn't a camera drone. It's a fantastic little drone but not a camera drone. So thanks very much that's about all I'm going to tell you. I give it a highly recommended but I don't recommend it. It's $69.99. If you can pick it up for $34.99 or I've seen it at $39.99 um, yeah Go ahead and get it. It's a fantastic drone. You will not be disappointed. Fantastic starter drone for a kid. Uh, these prop guards are really decent. They just bend up. I've clicked things a few times with them. And they're just they're really nice prop guards. Actually, some of them catch the motor. It doesn't do that. It's a really nice thing. It doesn't take proprietary batteries. Sorry, I should have showed you the battery. Let me just show you the battery before I go. So, it has one S and I think these are 500 mil. Yeah, the 500 milliamp power. So a single one sells like a lot of connection. Everybody sells these things. They're dirt cheap, so you're not going to have to pay a fortune on proprietary batteries. It slips in the back there. You just push it in. Done. No missing about, no caps, no anything. So from that point of view, again, it's fantastic. So, like I say, watch a video that's coming up. Sorry to repeat myself. Watch a video that's coming up. Tell me what you think. You will leave some things in the comments if you like it. And have a fantastic day.
thanks very much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it if you do please hit the like button and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit the notification bell thanks for watching